This just in, KPIX 5's Andrea Borba has late-breaking details about Mount Diablo Unified School District's reopening plan. The vote just moments ago, Andrea. Well, Liz, that vote came just in the last 20 minutes here. Uh, it was a 5-0 to zero vote to adopt a safe reopening plan for the Mount Diablo Unified School District here in Contra Costa County. And it also, the board is also choosing to follow state and county guidelines in regards to reopening. Parents say the science supports a return to in-person learning and that their friends are fleeing the public school system for private and the option for in-person classes. We will lose more if we fail to provide in-person options. Losing students hurts our district's funding, could close schools and eliminate jobs. Please approve the reopening plan. Distance learning is failing our children. One option could be a hybrid plan to bring students back on campus a few days a week and a few days on Zoom. I know that the hybrid plan is not perfect and it will not meet everyone's needs at this exact moment, but it is a step forward. So I urge you to consider reopening the school safely, you know, as soon as we can. Teachers say the case numbers in Contra Costa County don't support the wish to come back. Is that I'm really concerned. I don't think that parents of uh, students really understand how many of our students and our families currently have COVID and um, that if we were in class right now or if we were starting in-person learning even next week, the truth of the matter is, is that you don't know that you have COVID until you have COVID. Until you my interruption, infected. you do have 15 seconds remaining. Thank you so much. And so why put everybody at risk? Now, of course, this is all dependent on Contra Costa County entering the red tier of the state's reopening guidelines. The superintendent says he wants to hammer out as many details as possible down to specifics on each school site, what this could look like, whether it is a hybrid model, whether it is small cohorts, who would be on campus, who would not be on campus, how often. They want, he wants to have all of those details in place so once the county hits the red tier, they can push ahead and get students back onto campus at least some of the time. Live in Walnut Creek, Andrea Borba, KPIX. All right, Andrea, thank you.